Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. It is good to be here today. As you know what, we're getting um, close to the end of uh, numbers here. This is episode 89, and we're talking about cities of refuge today, which is another picture of Jesus. Um, and uh, then we only have like two more episodes after this. Like, wow. Numbers, you think, oh, we're just going to fly through this, but not really. It has a lot of great um, teachings for us in the book of Numbers. So today I wanted to focus on the cities of refuge. It, this first section of chapter 35, it talks about towns for Levites, but then it talks about the cities of refuge. And the cities of refuge, it was a safe place where if you unintentionally killed somebody you could flee to that that town okay and there was three it, there were six six of these cities total okay three on one side of the jordan and three on the other side of the jordan now uh, you only had two and a half tribes on one side of the jordan but you had um the rest of the tribes um on the other side of the jordan so the proportion was not um the same but these cities were all spaced out so if you needed to run to one of these cities, you could get there if you were running, like in a half day or less. Okay. So anyway, these these cities are are there for that. Uh, some would argue that there was uh, three cities on on the one side where it only had two and a half tribes, uh, because those people were acting like a bunch of heathens a whole lot more, and they needed more of those. Um, cities because of the people the way they were acting you know they were the first ones to fall into sin every time because they were we talked about this several episodes they were on the borderland they didn't go into the promised land they stayed right outside the promised land and settled there okay but the so the cities of refuge it was a safe place for you to go um to get a fair trial these this was set up because back in that day, you didn't have um, police officers roaming the streets and um, and so forth. Um, people took the law into their own hands. And so you had, if someone killed, um, let's say uh, so someone uh, killed one of my sons, okay? So what my responsibility was then, I needed to go and find that guy and kill him. Okay, and so it, and that would be some either myself or someone else from my family uh, would go to do that. They would avenge. It's called avenging, uh, avenge uh, the blood. Uh, uh, and so, is you, if someone got killed in one family, um, you would kill another person in that family. Okay, it it was not designed by God uh, to do that. That's just the way the people were that in that time period, um, and you can see how this can go crazy i think it was either i think it was in huckleberry finn how they talked about like this uh, feud was going on uh and this was back in the early 19 united states and the feud had begun going on like one family would kill one person then they would kill another person and it would go back and forth forever and they forgot what the original argument was about um they had this feud going on so, but I bring this all up here to point out the cities of refuge. It's a picture of Jesus and how we have safety in Jesus. When we come to Jesus, um, you know, we have salvation uh, through him. Um, but when we go outside those cities, uh, you're on your own. Okay. Uh, it, it's, uh, you're, you're no longer living in safety uh, there, but it's, the cities of refuge is a safe place. Just like when we come to Jesus, um, it, and it's open to sinners like us, but we come to Jesus and he provides that safe place for us. Okay, so let me read here today. This is taken from Numbers uh, chapter 35, uh, verses 1 through 29. On the plains of Moab by the Jordan, across from Jericho, the Lord said to Moses, command the Israelites to give the Levites, towns to live in for, from the inheritance the Israelites will possess, and give them pasture lands around the towns. Then they will have the towns to live in, and pasture lands for cattle they own and all their animals. The pasture lands around the towns that you give the Levites will extend a thousand cubits from town, 
from the town wall outside the town measuring 2,000 cubits on the east side, 2,000 on the south side, and 2,000 on the west side, and 2,000 on the north. With the town in the center, they will have this area to the be pasture land for the towns. Okay, so he's talking here about the towns given to the Levites. Keep in mind, the Levites were a tribe that they did not receive an inheritance of land. Okay, they only had, well, they were given these towns uh, to live in. Uh, but they weren't given, uh, you know, the rest of the tribes had uh, land divided amongst, you know, it, it was all divided up. And each tribe had land, but the Levites had towns. Now these towns were not all in one area. These towns were spread out throughout all the tribes. So God's intention was you had these Levites spread out, and they were to proclaim um, they were to proclaim the law, but they were to to share about God and teach about God. That that was what their uh, one of their purposes was what their purpose was and so um, as they taught they didn't just teach in one area of the country they taught spread out throughout the whole uh, region okay so that's why it's it's like that let's move on now to the cities of refuge uh, verse six six of the towns you give the levites will be cities of refuge to which a person who has killed someone may flee in addition give them 42 other towns in all, you must give the Levites 48 towns, together with their pasture lands. The towns you give the Levites from the land of the Israelites possess are to be given in proportion to the inheritance of each tribe. Take many towns from a tribe that has many and few from that that has few. So you had how many tribes total? I mean, how many towns total given to the Levites? You had 48. 48 towns spread throughout all the the region out, out of all the country there and um, that was given and six of those uh, towns were cities of refuge verse 9 then the lord said to moses speak to the israelites and say to them when you cross the jordan into canaan select some towns to be your cities of refuge to which a person who has killed someone accidentally may flee okay not on purpose uh, you, you, this is only if an accident happens that they can flee to that town. Okay, you can, I mean you can flee to that town if you intentionally kill someone, but there's going to be a trial and then you'll be uh, released from that town, uh, sent away. Um, they will be places of verse twelve. They will be places of refuge for the avenger, so that anyone accused of murder may not die before they stand trial before the assembly. These six towns you give will be your cities of refuge give three on this side of the jordan and three on, in canaan as cities of refuge these six towns would be places of refuge for the israelites and for foreigners residing among them so that anyone who has killed another accidentally will flee there verse 16 if anyone strikes someone a fatal uh, blow with an iron object that person is a murderer the murderer is to be put to death okay you commit murder, you're to be put to death. Or if anyone is holding a stone and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer, and a murderer is to be put to death. Or if anyone is holding a wooden object and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer, and the murderer uh, it must be put to death. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death. When the avenger comes upon the murderer, the avenger shall put the murderer to death. If anyone with malice aforethought shoves another and throws something at them intentionally so that they die, or if the enmity of one person, uh, oh, I'm sorry, if out of enmity one person hits another with their fist so that that person dies, that person is to be put to death. That person is a murderer. The avenger of blood shall put to death the murderer to death when they meet. Verse 22, but if, if without enmity someone suddenly pushes another or throws something at them unintentionally uh, or without seeing them, drops on them a stone heavy enough to kill them or they die, then since that other person has not was not an enemy, no harm was intended, the assembly must judge between the accused and the avenger of blood according to these regulations. The assembly must protect the one accused of murder 
from the avenger of blood and send the accused back to the city of refuge for which they fled. The accused must stay there until they until the death of the high priest who was anointed for the holy oil. Okay, again, who in our lives who's accusing us? You know, constantly it's the devil. Okay, so you know it. The devil is always, and this is a like I said, this is a picture of Jesus here. These these cities of refuge, and um, you know it, it's. Um, Jesus is to protect us from the Avenger, which is uh, uh, the devil. I, I, I mean, not the Avenger, the accuse, accuser. He's always accusing us, okay? Um, let's keep reading here. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Then when you, um, that person stays there, but he's free to go. Um, he's like released when the priest dies, okay? And so he has freedom at, at that point. When the priest dies and we have freedom because who died for us jesus okay and so now i have freedom um because jesus died for me all right i'm not in sin i'm not in bondage to sin anymore i have freedom because jesus died for me so again this is all pictures uh, pointing to jesus verse 26 but if the accused ever goes outside the limits of the city of refuge to which they fled, and the avenger of blood finds them on the outside of the city, the avenger of blood may kill the accused without being guilty of murder. The accused must stay in the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. Only after the death of the high priest may they return to their own property. This is to have the force of law for you throughout the generations to come, wherever you live. Okay, so you had the... Um, it says there in verses uh, in 28 there, the accused must stay in the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. What? So you you had to stay in that city. Um, you, once you could have you went there, and you were like, ah, you know what? I need to go over to the next town and, and do some shopping over there. Uh uh If the guy saw you, if the avenger saw you outside the town, it was free reign. Uh, he could kill you, and and it was legal to do that. And so you had to you you were safe as long as you were in that town okay and we are safe as long as we're within jesus okay uh if we try and have salvation some other way we're not safe okay there's no other thing that will save us it's only jesus um, that will save us and so just like that town was salvation um and, and brought freedom ultimately so jesus also provides safety for us because uh, we deserve eternal uh, death uh, in hell um, but Jesus provides um, that safety for us okay and then like I said before our freedom came once death happened and so what once the priest died then you were free um, and then once uh, Jesus died for my sins now I'm free from the bondage of sin all right this is a little longer episode but it's a lot of uh, information here Thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through the book of Numbers. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.